Hi folks, this is Tom here with FrugalPreppers.com. Uh, today I want to go over the uh, new little radio that I got, uh, primarily for the bug out bag. Um, I'm using this radio as an amateur radio, um, although it is not strictly an amateur transceiver. Um, it goes pretty far out of the band. It's called a professional transceiver. Um, as far as I can tell, it's not licensed by the FCC to do anything. Um, it won't, you know, it's not licensed for GMRS, it's not licensed for marine band, it's not licensed for commercial band use. Although it definitely has all the frequencies for that. However, I am an amateur radio operator, so I can't use it in the amateur radio band. Um, and basically, it's a real nice little radio. Um, Panel mode. It actually talks to you. Um, has a lot of different little options and stuff, change the colors of the displays, and really a pretty fully functional radio. Um, uh, I bought this on eBay. Um, find them out there all day long. I got this one for $30 free shipping, and then um, I also paid like another 10 bucks and got a bigger external antenna for it, a speaker mic for it, and a car charger for it. Um, oh, and a USB programming cable. Um, it does have a USB programming cable that you can order. There's a serial one too. It plugs into your, you know, speaker mic socket, and you plug it into your computer. The USB cable was a little bit problematic to get the drivers going. I had to mess with it. If I had it to do over again, I'd probably just get the serial one and hooked it up to my serial adapter. Done it that way. Um, uh, but it does have a uh, FM radio built into it. Um, you just hold, hit the orange button, turn the FM radio off and on, which is always nice to have that functionality. Um, it also has this, if you hold it down, opens the squelch. And if you just hit it once, it turns on the little flashlight that's built in. If you hit it again, it blinks, and it again, it goes off. Um, it's handy to have a little flashlight in an emergency, too. Um, you know, and, and then it has 127 channel memory. Um, let me see here. Six, one, zero, six, four. Let's see, I think a weather of four should Five, be mine. Nine. So, I got the weather radios programmed in there. Um, I, I've also programmed in, you know, look, that's the hospital's uh, repeater, so I could listen to the uh, security and, and the ER people on the radios. <laughs> um, they're not encrypted or anything. And it's it's kind of weird because, you know, in this day of HIPAA compliance, um, they have ER people talking over unencrypted radio frequencies, and uh, they have mentioned patients' names and procedures and stuff across there before, too. Something to think about if you go to the hospital. Um the, uh, I got all the GMRS and FRS bands programmed in here. Now, I have them set right now so they're locked out so they won't transmit because it's not legal for me to transmit on this radio and those bands. Um, in an emergency, I could go unlock that, though. If, I, you know, in an emergency, if it's truly life and death, I'll transmit where I have to transmit and deal with the SEC later if I have to. Um, but the, it's got the, the other thing on this radio is kind of important is it has like a little reverse SMA type connection here. It's got a, uh, a uh, male socket, and the antenna has a female socket, real similar to like the Motorola single band HT radios. Um, you can get a barrel adapter at Radio Shack pretty cheap though for that to put on your traditional antenna. I ordered a uh, adapter for that to a SO239, so I can hook it up to my external antenna. Um, the battery life on this thing is just excellent. I can charge it up, at, not without much talk time, just listening to the repeaters. Um, I can usually go two or three days in between charges um, with some talk time on it. You know, I can still get a day out of it. Um, especially on low power, it doesn't take much. Um, the receiver on this just seems really good. Um, it's got good audio quality. Let me see if I can get this repeater here. Casey. Muting call sign. That one's probably too far nine, away right now. Eight, Switch bands. Six, five, nine, one, 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 two, one. 
That's my three, repeater right one, there. It's too five, far away seven, for me to hit six, right now. My four, repeater is three, two, being, it's currently in Inglewood. I just zero, moved it from six, Centerville, Ohio. Six, five, 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 four, 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 it talks four, to you for everything, three, which is kind of neat. Eight, let me just hold this down and get back to the ham stuff. My local ones are four, like the first ones here. Three, two, uh, one, There's one. Okay. Muting call sign. So, you know, pretty decent little radio. I guess nobody out there wants to talk to me. <laughs> um, and uh, uh, this, I, I've kind of been really impressed with this little radio. It's a good uh, radio. Like I said, you know, for 40 bucks, you can have all the accessories you need. Throw this in your bug out bag. It also has a flashlight and an FM radio on it. Um, Great potential to recharge this from solar panels since the uh, charger now puts out 10 volts. Um, I could either regulate that down. I mean, I, as far as my knowledge, I don't make a 7810. I think they only make a 7809 and a 7812. But I can probably just use an LM317T, regulate that down, maybe even drive a power fit with it to, if I need more amperage. Um, and then build a nice little charger where I can just hook this right up to a... Uh, you know, 36 cell, 18 volt panel. There's somebody. Somebody that keyed it up and didn't bother to ID. That's a little pet peeve of mine. I always like to ID when I key into a repeater. Um, the, uh, you know, so it, it could be a, a good candidate for charging off solar as well, directly through a little regulation circuit. But it may just be when I get the car charger for it, I'll see that it just puts 12 volts into the drop-in charger because it's close enough to 10 and then I can just charge that right off of a 12 volt you know battery off of a solar system um, any questions comments feel free to uh, get a hold of me I play with this radio quite a bit so I can probably answer your questions on it, it is dual band receive um, so you can listen to two different bands at the same time um, but all in all a real nice little radio for the money I don't think you could go wrong buying one of these and putting it back for emergencies um, or if you don't have time to get to your primary radio in an emergency um, or if you don't have a mobile in your car or whatever right now throw one of these in the trunk or just keep it in the car and charge it up once in a while um, it's always important to have some communications uh, this is Tom with frugalpreppers.com please feel free to leave me any comments questions that you might have and I will make sure that I get back with you thanks bye